the Babylon Berlin series is when cabaret performer Nikoros Svetlana Sorokina's alter ego entertains the crowd at the Mocha FT by singing the gloomful song To Ashes to Dust. She is an androgynous black leather drag and accompanied on stage by the wild troupe of exotic dancers dressed in banana skirts. The crowd sings along and follows the pantomime. It was not the first time that banana skirts had been seen. The American dancer Josephine Baker made her way from the USA to Paris in 1925. That same year she became a star at the Folie Bergère, performing her Dance Sauvage, a dance where she wore a costume of uh, 16 bananas strung into a skirt. In 1927, Baker performed her show in Berlin. While Babylon Berlin makes no mention of her, the dancers at the Mocha FT are a tribute to her nonetheless. When the Nazis came to power, Baker was banned from performing on stage in Germany. She moved back to Paris. When the Nazis invaded Paris, she joined the French underground. Josephine Baker would die in Paris on April 1975 at the age of 68. Also Svetlana Sorokina's look at the Mocha FT is somehow representative of the tumultuous times of the Weimar Republic as you can see in the picture and painting showing on screen now. American jets swept Germany in the 20s and set roots there. People listened to Louis Armstrong on the radio the Charleston became very popular and Germans formed their own jets combos and orchestras. Otto Dix created the two paintings that showed jets musicians and a 1928 triptych titled Metropolis, which had as its central panel a depiction of elites being entertained by a jets combo. It's therefore only fitting that the soundtrack for Babylon Berlin fuses techno with 1920s jets and we also see a jet singer performing at the Mocha FT. The singer is actually singer Brian Ferry who makes a guest appearance as a jet singer performing the song Reason of Rhyme. Brian Ferry is remembered by many as the frontman for the 1970s glam art rock band Roxy Music but for what matters now in 2012 he formed the Brian Ferry Orchestra and released The Jets Age, an album of 1920s Jets renditions of his past hits. Many of these songs appear on the Babylon Berlin soundtrack, for example Dance Away, Reason of Rhyme, Bitter's End, Alphaville, Chance Meeting and Bittersweet. While Ferry's music is not actual Jets from the 1920s, it possesses its form, spirit and vitality. Since jets had political and social implications, in 1933 the Nazis targeted jets for its links to African Americans. In 1935, to stop racial pollution, they banned jets being played on German radio. In 1938 they organized the Degenerate Music Exhibition to denigrate jets, as well as Jewish classical music composers like Gustav Mahler and Felix Mendelssohn. Many young Germans belonged to the swing youth counterculture, where playing jets in underground clubs was an act of defiance. Eventually, the Nazis had enough, and starting in 1941, they began mass arrests of swing youth, sending them to concentration camps. In the second season's final episode, Svetlana resurfaces as a Russian performer in a Paris nightclub. She sings a mournful song in Russian. At the end of the song, in keeping with his grief-stricken lyrics, she pretends to cut her throat using a prop theatrical knife. The song Svetlana sang is a real song titled Gloomy Sunday. The original Gloomy Sunday was written and performed by Hungarian pianist and composer Redso Seres in 1933. The song was recorded by Paul Robison in 1936 and then by Billie Holiday in 1941.